Hey friends, today we're going to be doing a Stationery Pal unboxing. For those of you who are new here, I'm Jess. This is the Hex Library where I talk about all things library related. So planning, books, movies, you know, if you could find it at a library, you could probably find it here. Um, I have started doing some bullet journaling and therefore in that I have found about Stationery Pal and now I'm also obsessed along with everyone else on the planet. So I introduce you to my very first Stationery Pal haul. Um, I might have went a smidge overboard but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. And uh, I have already opened this box. I did take all of the um, like confetti and the paper packaging and all of that stuff out. Um, it comes with a lot of a lot of padding in it uh, to keep everything safe in its trip. And uh, I opened the box at work, which is where I get my mail delivered to, and had all and already took all that stuff out and uh, recycled. So I don't have to bring it home and you know all that fun stuff. So ta da. Um, I also already opened this and tried to get it without ripping this really cool sticker, but uh, it didn't happen. So when I tell you I went a little crazy, I legitimately mean I went a little crazy. Uh, so first let's talk freebies. Apparently when you order from Stationery Pal, there's almost always freebies in it. One of them is this little bear guy here. I also got this cute little clip. Don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe give it to one of the nieces. Who knows? Ta-da. I got a note with an 18% discount code for making an order. I also got a thank you note with a 15% discount code on that. And then all of the things. Uh, so I'm going to start at the top left. Starting at the top left, we have washi tape. It is green with plants. Uh, can I open it? The world may never know. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. Um, the fun part's watching me struggle to figure out how to open boxes. Ha ta! You can see without the stuff on it. Da da da. Okay. Green washi tapes. Why? I don't know. They've got plants on them. They looked cute. Went for it. Um, I also got a plain black washi tape. <laughs> While we're in washi tapes, I also got this blue purpley one that is celestial and gems, but also has whales. Why whales? Couldn't tell you. Also, in washi tapes, I got this set of washi tapes that is different colors but are all like little plant themed washi tapes. And I also got this 12 pack of washi tapes. And this is just different colored washi. Ah, there we go. A little bit of the rainbow, different colored washies. Let's move on to posty notes. Uh, the first is just plain black post-it notes with a cat face on it. The cat face is not normally on it, that's just the packaging. It's just a plain black square post-it note. I then got these guys that look like little file folders. Not sure what I'm going to use them for, but they're cute. I also got just a basic lined sticky note. 
a graph paper sticky note, a sticky note of a girl with a book and a to-do list, this moon sticky note pad. They're all, they all look like this. These tab sticky notes, some flower stickers. Uh, I got these in blue, purple, and green. They also have them in other colors, um, but they are just like a watercolor splash sticky note um, that you can break apart and use. I'm going to probably use these for like headers and things in my bullet journal. This pretty purple and blue leaf sticky note. Six by six inch paper pack of just like pretty colored papers that I can use for background. A pair of craft tweezers because I can't find mine anymore. And then two little books of little tiny pictures that I thought would just be cute to use um, as, you know, ephemera in the bullet journal. There's a whole bunch of those. So yeah, that is what's in my box from Stationery Pal. Uh, if you're interested, I will link their website down below for you um, because it's very affordable and you may find things that you like. And I have to figure out where I'm gonna store all of these things now um, because I have a problem, clearly, uh, clearly have a problem. Um, <laughs> that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!